Andrew here with Stay Roasted. Uh, we're doing a cold brew preparation today. Very easy, you have to try it. Let's get started. So the first thing you need is about 28 ounces of cold water, half a bag of uh, ground coffee, so six ounces of uh, coarsely ground coffee beans, um, and any kind of container you want. This happens to be a glass carafe, um, but literally any container you have, glass is probably better. Uh, that's all you need. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna use this piece of paper as a funnel, make things a little easier for myself here. And we're just gonna add the coffee in. All right, next step's pretty easy. Add in the water. Now one thing you can do is kind of stop halfway and then just give it a good shake. You really want to make sure that all the coffee grounds uh, have made uh, contact with the water. And we're going to continue to fill it up. There you go. Maybe give it one last little uh, swirl. You could actually let this sit for about three minutes and then give it one other shake. Really get it incorporated. Um, this happens to have a lid on it, but yeah, you wanna cover uh, you, whatever container you're using with a, with a lid. And then you're just gonna stash this away. Uh, put it on your countertop away from light, away from heat, and let it sit overnight for about 12 to 18 hours. Um, so we're gonna come back and we're gonna show you what to do uh, with your cold brewed coffee uh, in just a second. All right, guys, uh, this cold brew coffee has had time to do its thing on the counter for, again, 12 to 18 hours. Now, all we have to do is separate the coffee, the cold brew coffee from the ground. An easy way to do that is with our Chemex. So if you have a Chemex, it's the perfect uh, apparatus for this. Um, but you can literally use anything, um, any container. You can even use a, um, a fine uh, mesh strainer, maybe with some cheesecloth in it or a coffee filter in it really anything that'll separate uh, the coffee from the grounds. So we're gonna go ahead and put a Chemex filter in here, rinse this out with a little cold water. We're gonna pour that off. And then begin to separate everything. Sometimes you have to swirl it around. You really want to get absolutely all of it eventually into the filter. So as the water's going down and brewing through the coffee filter, then you'll just continue to add until it's all done. All right, so we have our cold brew concentrate. Um, you can mix it with just about anything. So we'll make a couple of preparations here. Um, we'll start with kind of a half pour in each of these. Two cold preparations and one hot. So we'll start here with the hot one. Again, just half and half. We're gonna just mix this with hot water. And you're all set there. Another uh, cold ice, or rather an iced coffee preparation here. Just half and half water cold brew concentrate, some ice, and lastly, you can use milk, almond milk, whatever you like. But there you have it guys, three different coffee preparations using our cold brew concentrate. I highly recommend this method, it's super easy and you're gonna love it. Uh, remember, no matter how you brew your coffee, the first step is finding fresh, high quality coffee beans. So visit us at stayroasted.com. We have over 40 of America's top craft coffee roasters who will deliver fresh to your doorstep. Cheers.